Hey guys, it's Wes. Not your normal miner here. Today got a fun one for you. Today we've got benchmarking for you, and we are going to be using Nice Hash as well as an NVIDIA Founders Edition RTX 3080. That's right, we did secure one of these guys for the channel. Um, we went through a lot of hoops to get one of these, but that's what we're going to show you today is some benchmarking. Hopefully, these benchmarking tests that we've been bringing you will help you guys be able to decide which one of these next gen GPUs is right for you. When we say we're doing benchmarking and comparisons, we have been able to secure two. That's right, two RTX 3080s. We do have a Zotac Trinity um, GeForce RTX 3080 as well as the NVIDIA Founders Edition RTX 3080. We are going to go ahead and do the benchmarking for you guys right here and now. So that's what we're doing today is benchmarking on nice hashes. Always, guys, do your own research. In the description down below, we got links to everything. One of those links will take you over to nicehash.com. Nice thing about nicehash.com is you can rent your hash, hash, you can rent hash, as well as you can use it to control your miners. All sorts of different things. But please, guys, do your own research. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, this is a great time to go ahead and hit that subscription bell so you can keep up with our latest and greatest. If you like these kinds of videos, also hit that thumbs up. That way other people can see it. Please comment down below, though. Tell us what you liked or didn't like about this video. We are also are using MSI Afterburner con to control our overclock settings. Please, guys, do your own research. Um, we're not responsible for any overclock settings that don't work for you, that worked for us. Um, everybody's rigs, everybody's setups are different. Make sure anyone that's got these in your gaming, editing, mining rigs, these RTX 3080s or 3090s, you need to at least have a 750-watt power supply. We are a cryptocurrency mining based channel. We're focusing on how to's, pool testings, overclock setting testings, miners, um, you know, equipment testings. We did a remote garden location so we could show you everything we did as far as scaling up. That's with multiple GPU and ASICs. We got benchmarking. We've been trying to bring you guys the latest and greatest on these RTX 3000 series. So here's the, here's the GPU in check today. We are going to be going with this NVIDIA RTX 3080, the Founders Edition. We also are using NiceHash.com. As always, guys, do your own research, please. But in the description down below, we got links to everything. So you can control it here, web-based side, as well as dashboard side on their app. So that's what we were doing today, guys. We did some benchmarking. We have been using MSI Afterburner to control it. One of the things that we've seen here early on is, A, the miner programs themselves aren't optimized for these GPUs. B, the drivers aren't optimized for these GPUs. Um, devs just don't have a chance to get these things. Nobody does, guys. These things are still almost impossible to get. Um, but we were able to secure two of them for the channel. So that's what we're here showing you guys today. We've got some benchmarking here. So first up, we had zero core, zero memory, power limit of 85%. And that's about 240 watts, guys. That's about the sweet spot that we've seen here on this NVIDIA Founders Edition. My first thought on the NVIDIA Founders Edition, though, I'm not a huge fan of it compared to the Zotac. The two fans are not good for cooling. You're going to be seeing your fan speeds running extremely high, 100% or more, with any overclocks. Also, it doesn't take the overclocks quite as well. So, first impressions, I'm not a fan of this GPU. Maybe that'll change. So, as, as far as those benchmarks go on that 240 power limit with no overclocks, you can see here that we'll kind of highlight Dagger Hashimoto 84 mega hash per second. You had Grin Kukuru D29 at 15 graphs a second. Uh, down to Beam version 3 was 45 souls. And Dagger Hashimoto on Phoenix was 84 mega hash per second. And once again, guys, we are using Awesome Miner here. I'm using their, um, their their program as well as MSI Afterburner. So let's get to the next one. Core of zero, memory of 1326, which is about the maximum that we found with this at 85% power limit, which is 240 watts. You guys can see here we are using, once again, MSI Afterburner. We got links in the description down below. That does bump us up to 91 plus mega hash per second dagger on Kukuru. That Grin 29, you're seeing 14.77 graphs a second. And all the way down there, we got Beam at 45 plus souls, 96 mega hash per second on our dagger Hashimoto. Once again, we're seeing wonky things with overclocks and such. I'm not an overclock king by any means I'm just giving you guys some benchmarking once again this was by community request and we're using nice hash so um, we take this one back at 240 watts 
memory of a thousand core of zero and I have seen core not really do a lot here right out of the gate once again that's at 240 watts and our benchmarking was 88 mega hash per second on dagger 94 mega hash per second on Phoenix oh yeah we were using Claymore on that first number grin 29 we were getting 14 graphs a second last overclock setting that I did here for you guys on this and this was with um, once again MSI afterburner we put our power limit up to 100 percent with that core at a thousand and we were able to get 86 mega hash per second and it, it did affect it once you get up to a certain power limit down to 94 on Phoenix but let's show you guys here back on dashboard side and this is over on benchmarking here for um, this GPU, the NVIDIA FE Founders Edition, this is a 3080. This is an RTX 3080. So with the core of zero and a power limit of 240, once again, guys, you can see here, there are other minor programs and such that we can benchmark. This is just our first run here. So a quick update or a quick review of the RTX NVIDIA Founders Edition RTX 3080. Not a huge fan of it. The two fans just don't quite hold up. And in the upper right hand corner I'm going to have a link. We did have two of these mining on Hive OS last night which is Linux. So that was great to see that but this car just couldn't keep up with it. So that's what we've been showing. If you guys are huge fans of the channel in the description down below we got links to a few things. You'll be able to follow us over on Twitter. It's where you can keep up with our latest and greatest. Also um, you can see here over on Discord in the link below you can speak to us directly. We were really excited to get the latest um, drivers for, the, for this GPU and we really can't wait to get the Zotac Trinity in here. Good way to support the channel over in Discord, head over to Water Cooler. You're going to be able to find the HODL Bitcoin license plates. That is metal, and I can ship that anywhere to the U.S. for free. Also, you can find Not Your Normal Miners Hash Merch Market. You're going to be able to find our Bitcoin Accepted here line. Um, we have shipped these worldwide. If you want to send some love with your favorite coins down there, you can find CoinRequest.io. But wrapping up, we have been showing you nice hash today. And we've been doing some benchmarking. When we say benchmarking, we've been using NiceHash itself, the application, to benchmark this GPU. And one of the things we've been using is MSI Afterburner to control its overclocks. Once again, I am not an overclock guru by any means. But with this NVIDIA Founders Edition in our gaming RGB gaming editing mining rig, I am finding issues as far as the cooling goes and, and keeping those temps down. My name's Wes. I'm not your normal miner. Thank you.